E3 2016 PlayStation Conference. What's good, my G's? Your boy Snow, ignorant gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? Of course, if you don't already know, G stands for gamers. Look, I've been doing a couple of videos already, so look in the link in the description below where I give you my overall opinion of the entire conference, and then I have the breakout ones of you know Microsoft, Nintendo, Bethesda, etc. etc. This is the PlayStation one. So let's get into it. Um off the off the back, I really like how the PlayStation conference went from start to finish. Boom 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 rapid fire. Kinda like how I mentioned the the Microsoft one did. Like I think both companies did a very good job of just like leaving the mumbo jumbo garbage out. Fuck the numbers, fuck your stats, fuck all that shit. Just show the gamers, not the fanboys, show the gamers exactly what it is that we came or why we even watch these fucking shows. So before I get into anything extra, let me just list what was done. Um, God of War, Days Gone, The Last Guardian, Horizon Zero Dawn, Detroit Becomes Human, Resident Evil 7, I believe the tag name is Biohazard, uh, Farpoint, Battlefront VR X-Wing Mission, Batman Arkham VR, Final Fantasy VR Experience, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, followed by Modern Warfare Remastered, Crash Bandicoot Remastered, Skylanders, Imaginators, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, Death Stranding, and Spider-Man. Sony uh, <laughs> did a good job of kicking off the show with some wild ass introduction with the orchestra, big band, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And, um, you know, it was dope. And the sounds that we use, you know, you look on Twitter, if you was following us on a Twitter feed, you know, I think Miss K has said it herself, like it's very God of War sounding like. And then all of a sudden, we just seen Kratos. And everybody was like, yo, what the fuck? Fuck. God of War confirmed. Um, it looked good and it looked weird at the same time. <laughs> Kratos looks older. And is that the son? Like, is that his son? Like, what's going on? His mom made him what? If you ever heard the Wu-Tang song or saw the movie, you have an option. You must choose the sword or the ball. If you choose the if you choose the sword, you'll live. If you choose the ball, you'll join your mother in her same fate, aka his ass would be dead. Um, and then said, if you don't know, I know you don't understand my words, but you must choose. Like that was that. Um, it had a very, and I'm sorry to do this. I'm so sorry to do this, but it had a very, very, very apparent feeling of the last of us with joel and ellie i'm sorry to say that but you know we live in an era where people need comparisons in order to get your point across so um i'm sorry but that's there's no other way around it if you played the last of us there's no way you didn't see that uh and that camera angle was i i've never seen of i've never seen that with god of war unless it was trying to give you this iconic setup piece before you like beat up one of the gods or something or you're walking down that long ass hallway i think in god of war 3 but <clears throat> um excuse me i mean yo that's a march 2017 release and that shit look crazy crazy i said crazy kratos that shit look crazy crazy <laughs> but um i i, I do want to say this if that's the angle of what they're going with, um, I think trying to be positive is going to be some new game mechanics, some new probably evolved mechanics. Um, maybe we won't be playing as Kratos all the way because I'm not really sure it's a reboot and I didn't look. All my all my E3 videos are at the end of that particular conference i didn't do any extra homework or nothing like that i'm walking away with that remember my birthday was the 14th so 
I, I, I didn't have a chance to do that. That's why these videos are coming to you late. But, um, goddamn, that looked good. And shout out to the orchestra or band or whatever that kept that, in, that, that fucking, that energy going. Uh, they also kept going throughout the show in other parts. More on that later. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. Um, the voice actor seems off for Kratos too, but... I, actually, that I can confirm, it is a, it is a different actor that came down my timeline like late after I got some birthday wishes. I seen that shit. I was like, oh, a bunch of birthday. Oh, oh, who are you? Oh, hey, how you doing? So anyway, um, I think somebody from uh, Ben Studios showed up and they showed something about uh, Days Gone, and I was like, okay, all right, I see you. Looks cool, but the next time I see you. You better show me some fucking gameplay. <laughs> and I'm not going to make you wait to the end of this video to do that. So I'm just going to talk about it right now. Holy shit. Now, I'm tired of zombie games. I'm not a zombie fanatic. Yeah, I know I said The Last of Us. The Last of Us is not really a zombie. It's a zombie, but it's not really. And this Days Gone game, what the fuck? It, first off, it looks mad fluid. There was a point where there was a whole bunch of zombies that came out the train as they were trace, chasing him down. And that shit reminded me of like Shaun of the Dead, 28 Days Later, you know, like how ferocious they were moving in packs and fast and furious. That shit looked like crazy. Um, not to mention how fluid it looked as well. And um, <clears throat> the gameplay on that <clears throat> reminded me of the Order 1886 engine. Um, it may be better than the Order 1886 engine in terms of mechanics and looks. Uh, well, not looks, but you, you, you know what I mean. But damn i was super impressed uh i i i don't even know what else to say about that I, I don't really i mean i'm losing third person shooter games but that's looking like something that i might want to check out so uh yeah i don't remember was there a, a release date on that i don't remember if they put a release date on that a lot of sony shit didn't have a release date but i tell you what did october 25th the fucking unicorn that is called the last guardian finally gets his date and i'm one of the people who is going to say this again until reviews are out for that actual game this shit does not exist this has been like seven years it's almost been a decade so the last guardian october 25th and the little bastards they showed that shit mad quick they didn't want to show any new gameplay so whatever october october 25th i'm moving right along next game which has gotten more of my attention horizon zero dawn look pretty damn good to me um i like what they showed some more of i saw somebody's tweet it said uh bird lands on t robot t-rex bird hey baby i think it's time to turn into a turret i thought that was pretty funny because I swear to you, it's like Dr. Robotnik's cousin is in this fucking world somehow. But they show some more of um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Looks good. Guerrilla Games is behind it. Guerrilla Games is the same people behind Killzone. Um, the art style looks pretty good. The graphics looks to be a little tighter from the last time we've seen it. They still got time to do even more uh, with it. And, um, you know, I think this is going to be another 2017 game, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember what the, f what the, what the date was behind that. Actually, let me, uh, that's not something I, I kind of want to let go too far. Uh, yeah, t February 28th, 2017. I just had to look that up real quick. And I think Days Gone, since I did that, Days Gone did not get it. It got an in-development screen. I thought my notes said that. So, um, you know, that, that was pretty good. So the next game, which got me excited, was a Quantic Dreams game. And I wasn't sure. I thought it was like, I don't know if you guys played Binary Domain and Ramon, Ramon's gonna hate that. But, um, you know, Binary Domain has something to do with like androids and shit like that. And, um, you know, the, what they showed was uh, this game called Detroit Become Human. And they just showed this game where you make a decision with the negotiation with this android called AWOL who's questioning his life, his purpose. And he's getting ready to kill this girl and how they demoed it to us it's not going to play like that but how they demoed it to us was when you made this decision this is what happened when you made that decision this is what happened this is when you made that and then it progressed 
a little bit till you make another decision and then it progressed a little bit and then it did that and then even when they wheeled it back to say hey you can trust me droid the droid you can trust me you know he gets shot and then he was like you lied to me like that's what heavy rain was that's what uh beyond two souls was supposed to be but that's what until dawn follows follows that formula it would be though even though that wasn't made by quantic dreams that's their formula all the way back to indigo prophecy so such i'm such a heavy rain fan this game is an automatic purchase for me there's no way around it um so that was uh pretty exciting for me and then fucking playstation went a little haywire and got all psvr crazy which i'm not crazy for y'all seen the videos but i mean they kind of show some stuff that made me not put the foot in my mouth but made me just sit there and and not bitch and moan that the vr section of the camp of the of the conference started and i believe they jumped out the gate with resident evil biohaz resident evil 7 biohazard which you can download right now by the way and I think they said, uh, you can download the demo right now. And I think they said that it will release January 27th. And then they said that PSVR will release October 13th, which I think we already knew it was going to be October. I'm not sure if we knew the actual date. Um, and whatever they showed for Resident Evil 7, I know it's not the Resident Evil 7 that you like, but with me, who is standoffish against Capcom and I'm not supporting them, that looked pretty damn interesting VR or not VR that looked pretty interesting it might be something that helped put the horror back in you guys because I don't know if you guys remember but PT and um, Outlast kind of had Resident Evil fans a little pissed off on Twitter and YouTube fans of Resident Evil a little pissed off too uh, so I think that's a direct response since y'all want to call them out they decided to do that um, you know they also mentioned that PSVR is going to be launching with 50 games, you know, available. And seeing what I saw right there, uh, I think you, could, you guys are going to have at least 10 to 15 games that are going to be just straight out off the wall. Um, like I said, Battlefront VR, X-Wing Mission, Batman Arkham VR, uh, and I think, uh, I think Farpoint was part of it too, but Final Fantasy VR Experience. Um, I can't say too much about Final Fantasy VR because I really don't care about that shit or VR, but you know, what will Now the thing I want to get at, and if you was following me on uh, Ignorant Gamers on Twitter, you saw that I was tweeting about, of all things, outside of fucking Resident Evil was Call of Duty, not the Modern Warfare, but the Infinite Warfare. And I know I'm critical of these guys, I know I am. I know, I know, I know, but God damn it, I'm going to tell you that that campaign for Infinite Warfare might actually have my attention now. I don't care what nobody say, I don't care what no hater says, that damn, what they showed us looked amazing. That sound, what that looked like was what they so-called promised us with Ghost and they didn't deliver. That looked like a new engine from the ground up, that looked super 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 thick super refined i don't know what was going on in the previous infinity war games but that right there my friends that's it uh say what you want about the multiplayer or whatever else but that's it moving along the modern warfare remaster shit looks good obviously uh the only thing i want to say about that is 30 days for the single player campaign <laughs> comes to playstation before it goes the xbox that's whatever Next big news, which is happy for all Crash Bandicoot fans, the first three Crash Bandicoot games gets a remaster. Hopefully they put it all in one package. And then Crash gets a cameo of some sort inside of Skylanders. That is what it is. Uh, Lego games could do no wrong except for not make it online multiplayer, co-op. So what am I going to say bad about Star Wars The Force Awakens? It's fucking Star Wars. Kojima crazy son of a bitch this dude comes out and he basically get the the big playstation support as he's supposed to because you you know we go back playstation goes back with him uh you know kind of funny that final uh that metal gear started with nintendo and you know that is what it is but kojima came out 
and shit was weird when he started showing his little quick game all the women were going crazy i ain't mad at you you can have that and then they was going crazy for norman reedus <laughs> and the game was called death stranding so it'd be interesting to see what happens once we get more information about that so kojima confirmed uh, and then we seen spider-man the playstation 4 spider-man game and i think this is going to be a playstation only game because it's done by i believe incognito studios and um sunset overdrive is probably the precursor for this and um it's going to have to be because i'm sorry batman arkham games put all other superhero games on fucking dead or dead on arrival status in my opinion rocksteady has done an amazing job so much that they popped that engine for uh mad max and shadow of mortar and i fucking love shadow of mortar but um Spider-Man game looks great. It looks like the Spider-Man from Civil War. So I think this is a movie tie-in to this, the forthcoming or homecoming Spider-Man movie that's happening. And be interesting to see what happens out the gate. Or sorry, I said Incognito game. I meant to say Insomniac games. My my apologies for that. Those are not the same people. Um, and uh, let me see. I think. I think that was, that was it because I already talked about the Days Gone Zombie shit. That shit looked crazy. Uh, overall, I think the conference was very well for 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 me. I think for any gamer in general, um, and it was a very successful uh, showing. But I did have a lot of questions at the end. It was a rapid fire. I think they kept a tight one hour bid um the orchestra was definitely keeping shit moving as well they even had i had to make a tweet saying that whatever they was doing at that one part of the of the gameplay demo for um for for days gone better be in the game at that same exact part with that same exact music um they did a good job of, of doing that but you know no gt sport no this the list can go on and on of shit that just it's like mind-boggling to me that it's not there. Just like EA didn't, mention, didn't make a mention of NBA Live. Um, yeah, we can assume it's dead, but I don't like assuming shit. The same thing, they didn't say nothing about Need for Speed Underground or New Need for Speed. Like, what the fuck's up? At least Ubisoft made a mention and about a movie for Assassin's Creed. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. You, you guys tell me what you thought. Um, of the Sony press conference and um, did you get what you were looking for did you did, I know you guys wanted something about Neo I knew that was gonna happen they even said they wasn't gonna do it uh, but outside of that well actually you can put it in if you feel like they should have said something I don't feel that way but we can have a dialogue about it and um, yeah let me know your boy snow ignorant gamers and I'm out don't forget to check the description below for the other conferences and peace